Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and uh, we will be talking about the future of Snowbreak. What could contribute to that future? But before that, we have to talk about what happened about, you know, nearly 24 hours. So if you guys haven't, you know, haven't noticed, Snowbreak has put a announcement out for a censorship. We won't be discussing the reason why they're putting it out. Um, the community has basically talked about it and what what, no, what, what caused it, why did they do it. Um, it won't be discussed here. We will be talking about the summary basically. So summary 1, changes will be mostly be skins version 1.7 and earlier. So skins 1.8 onwards won't be touched. So that is how you're going to be looking at it. Because, um, again, when we talk about censorship, people were talking, you know, about uh, is it going to be everything? Is it, is it going to be from the start to the current ones? But no, version 1.8 is not going to be touched. Two, Katya most affected with her default skin. And um, a little bit of adjustment if um, um, I actually posted the difference in my community billboard and it's it it is going to take away a shaded part um if you can see here um in my in my what do you call this interface you see katcha the 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 thigh part no not the thigh part the hip part is gonna be partially covered a little bit of covering that's it so the 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 hip part the back part a little bit of covering that's it it's for me it's going to be acceptable that is why i you know i accepted it what it is and katya is going to be staying in my screen because we won't get this skin anymore moving forward it's going to be changed for everyone with no exception except for the skins except for her skins though uh, her skins won't be changed so skins bought before august 8 30 i think it's going to be 10 a.m utc plus 8 will not be affected hence they have a sale right now the sale is there because players are or some of you are actually waiting for it like me i only bought one i wanted to support the devs i bought sherna's made outfit um it's one of the things that i you know i was going to complete eventually but i bought it because i wanted to support the devs and you know, players, especially new ones, are clamoring for uh, pre-release skins that they should have. But again, these skins will not be changed and will not, you know, be affected moving forwards. But you have to get these skins before 8.30, 10 a.m. UTC plus 8. If not, you won't be able to get these skins. Okay, so for... Future skins will not be affected by the censorship. So they have said this. I will hold it to them to be able to promise this to the community that future skins will not be censored anymore because the rating is actually changed. So I actually am, you know, I believe them that they that they can hold on to their word that future skins will not change. No more censorship, so that is actually a good thing. Number five is changes had to be made before 18 plus or mature rating was made. Basically, a loophole was found and it was reported and a retroactive fix was needed. So those are the five points of what has happened nearly 24 hours of the censorship incident. Again, five points. Okay, so this is what we're going to be talking about. Things to look forward to for Snowbreak. Number one, I mentioned this earlier, the promise of Snowbreak that future skins won't be affected since recent skins were, were, were not touched. Like, for example, the wedding skins. Um, I think um, series skins were not touched as well. So I will hold that. To, you know, I will hold them to that, that they won't be able to change it anymore and they don't plan to change it anymore. So again, I trust their word. I will look into the future and follow where this goes. 
Okay, number two, fan service should be maintained or even go further since this was the turnaround of the game. It's a key piece of the game where in the appeal of the players are going to matter because of fan service. I've read comments in the comment section of my videos that, you know, they will quit because there's no longer fan service. We'll go to that later. But again, fan service should be maintained without any question. Okay. Number three, my message to those that who are, you know, who are disappointed and would want to quit the game, stay for a month and see what happens. Stay for the next update, basically, is what I'm saying. Up until the next update, see what happens. If you don't like what you see, then you decide. Okay. Do not hastily quit the game. This is basically a rally call to players who love Snow Break. We love Snow Break and we would want to support the game. But again, if you're so disappointed of the change, I am playing, you know, I'm, I'm actually playing to you guys to at least wait a month, wait for the next update, and let's see what the devs put out. Then decide, okay? Um, what else? At this point, I would like to encourage everyone to support Snowbreak Containment Zone to its fullest. Show that we are solid despite this. Um, there have had a lot. No, there have been a lot of things happening in the past. V is leaving Google Play and this. So, there are going to be problems along the way, but as far as I know, if you guys are just patient with this game, things are going to be better in the future. Um, I just feel it because I've, you know, I have had discussions with uh, people um, who, who, what they call this, people who create or give info for the game um, and they give, they care. They care about the community. That's it. You don't get this much, um, you know, get, get this much, uh, what do you call this? Get this much um, listening from devs in other games. Going to my point for number five, I've been, uh, you know, going forward. Number five is Snowbreak is just not a fan service game. Okay. Take note of that. The devs really care. Listen and generous to its player base. That is the whole selling point of the game. It's not just fan service. Okay, so you have to understand that the whole package makes Snowbreak a, you know, a, you know, a lovable game, an enjoyable game that people tend to gravitate to. So again, it's not just fan service. It's the devs. It's the care the listening, the generosity that makes us stay for this game. Okay? So not every developer or publisher has those traits. It's the overall value that I, for one, am staying for the game and supporting it. So take note. I'm, I'm saying this. I'm pledging this. I'm staying for the game because of the overall value that I get from the game. Okay? Number six, and my last point for Snowbreak's future. So only they can answer it now since the ball is in their court. Right now, we are actually waiting for the next update to drop. Um, they have given their word. They are given more or less their, their promise that we, they're going to continue with you know, with what they left off from 1.8 moving forward after the change in rating. And nothing's going to be changing. Nothing's going to be, you know, um, future skins won't be affected. Again, I'm going to hold them to their word. But with that word is, you know, when the time comes, they should deliver on their word. That is where I'll see whether they can... Uh, put their money where their mouth is okay because again if they can't keep their word what's you know what's what's the use of staying i will stay i will see if they deliver um up at the end so that is where 
their future hinges on. Their word. The, you know, the completion of their word. And let's give them a chance. Um, let's give them a chance. I don't see why we can't give them a chance. I don't see any reason why, just because of what has happened. It's not, you know, they, they, they didn't do this on purpose. They were made to do this. So again, let's give them a chance to fulfill their word. Let's wait for the next update. This is my rally cry to you guys. I need you to back me up on this. And I also need to know what you think. Um, I think the future is still bright for Snowbreak. It just has to, or they just have to stick to their word. Okay, so again, guys, those are my thoughts after the censorship. So what do you think again? Put it down in the comment section. Let us talk about it. Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.